What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now. Today, fuck, oh, I keep hitting my head. Oh, please, someone remind me not to do that anymore. Fuck. Uh, never mind, I'll, I'll edit that out. Fuck. I'll edit that out. I'm best editor on YouTube, don't worry guys. Fuck me dead. Damn it. Okay, fuck. Let's just get into the video. <laughs> MS Dhoni. Versus Adam Gilchrist wicket keeper comparison 2020. Now we are in the year 2021. We're almost halfway through. Somehow we are almost in June. My birthday is in June. Looking forward to it, kind of, not really, but should be fun. <laughs> uh, but hey, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I got too distracted by almost breaking my hand in two again. Hey, let's check it out. Oh, what I was going to say, if you are new, subscribe. It costs nothing. Do it right now. I'll give you three seconds. One, two, three. Bang. You should have done it. should have done it. But hey, we do all sorts of cricket content, all sorts of other content. And hopefully, well, there are going to be, there's going to be some big things for this channel. So just subscribe. Get ready. It's going to be a big year. Big 2022. Big 20. It's going to be big. Okay? Subscribe. <laughs> Alrighty. MS Dhoni versus Adam McFadden Gilchrist. There is Dhoni. Hold on. Should we have some sound? I think so. Oh, shit. It might be a copyrighted music. Should we check? Fuck it. We're checking right now, guys. Don't you worry. Best editor on YouTube, but we're not editing this out. Forget my watch later section. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Copyrighted music. No, sir. Woo. Shit. Alrighty. Hey. Hurry up, please. 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 Thank you. Let's get into it. Gilly is only 10 years older. That is surprising. Bullshit! Adam Gilchrist is six foot one. There is literally zero chance Adam Gilchrist is six foot one. I have seen that man. He is not six foot one. He is lucky to be five foot ten. Bullshit. That is a joke. That is not true. <laughs> I got my coffee. If you guys watch Star Wars, there's Master Yoda. It was. May the 4th the other day, so may the 4th be with you, may the 4th, of course, if you follow Star Wars. If you don't, then what are you doing? Start. <laughs> okay. We're going to do a bit of pausing just because it goes off the screen a bit quick. I'm, not, I'm only going to pause the important stuff, like this. Hmm. Okay, highest in test... Gilchrist, 2000, uh, 2004. 204. Dhoni, 224. I would love to see who that best, who the highest score was against. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Gillies was against, um, was against New Zealand. But he's showing a photo against Sri Lanka, so it probably was against Sri Lanka. And I think Dhoni's was against Pakistan. Correct me if I am wrong, please. Average, geez, Gilly. There's just no one like Gilly or MS Dhoni. I mean, an average of 38. Dhoni played down the order a bit more. Um, uh, Gilly, I mean, they played both down in the order, to be fair. Um, 47, strike rate, not out. Okay, that's what we cared about. Hold on, i got to check my phone. What the hell is this? Okay, no one cares. Test batting comparison. Wow! Gilly had 17 tons and 26.50s. Dhoni are only 600s. Hmm. There you go. How many ducks? Come on, Gilly! <laughs> Damn, that is a nice Indian kit. I want to get my hands on that. Okay. ODI batting. Obviously, Dhoni would have been a bit better at uh, ODI. Yeah. Yep. Would have played a lot more matches, of course. Runs. Damn! Gilly! Considering how much less he played, that is solid. Average, 50. Okay. Okay. What about, here we go, not outs. Jesus. No double tons? What a shame. <laughs> Gilly had 16 ODI tons. That is nuts. He did have a lot of ducks. He did go out for ducks pretty often. Let's not, let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> T20. Well, it's probably unfair to say Gilly T20 because he didn't really play. It depends if they if they counting like IPL and shit like that, then maybe. But yeah, yeah, you can't you can't compare him for T20 because Gilly, if Adam Gilchrist was in his prime, 
and played T20 cricket, he would have been one of the greatest T20 players to ever play. And I'm telling you that right now. Easily. But unfortunately, it was just it was just a bit ahead of his time. Obviously, no double tons. Has anyone ever scored a double ton in T20 cricket? Fuck this. I'm asking Siri. Has anyone scored a 200 in T20 cricket? I should have just said a double century, but... I found this on the web. Nobody has scored 200 in an international IPL or T20 blast match. Really? There you go. Who is the top? Chris Gale's got about 145. Would that be the best? No, Chris Gale's got like 157, right? Because I remember Marcus Stoinis made like 151. So, yeah. Oh, didn't Rohit Sharma score like 170 or something? I think, yeah. Okay, here we go. Dhoni versus Gilchrist. Man of the match. Yeah, I was about to say, Gilchrist would have a lot. Because he pulled us out of a lot of heavy situations all the time. And that, I mean, that just proves that Gilly, he, he would do the unspeakable a lot of the time. He would, yeah. He, he is the most underrated wicketkeeper of all time, Adam Gilchrist. Like, he is, in my in my opinion, the greatest wicketkeeper of all time. Like, with gloves, with the bat as well. He would be. And I know people are going to get angry and say, no, Dhoni, but if we're going off stats, Gilchrist is clearly has been better. Like, I don't know, but I just feel like Gilly, oh, he would always go on, but I, it, it's so tough. Are they going to tell us? I thought they were going to compare all the stats into one. No. I mean... I love MS Dhoni. He's been one of my favorite cricketers of all time. Adam Gilchrist, obviously. When did he retire? Because I think it was like 2006, 2007. Um, I didn't get to watch a whole lot of him. I've watched a lot of game footage, a lot of highlights. But if we're going off stats, I feel like if you were playing for your life, and I know Indians are going to be, and a lot of Indian fans are going to say, you know, Dhoni. But Adam Gilchrist... If he got over 20 runs, he was going on to make 50 to 100 plus. But Dhoni, I feel like Dhoni could get to a 44. Dhoni would make a lot of half centuries. And then he would just, yeah, would just kind of be the anchor in the inning. So I, it's so hard to say, isn't it? Because both are the legends, probably the two greatest wicket keepers of all time. And I, I know I said Gilchrist is probably better, but they're like this. Like that's, that's Gilly, that's Dhoni. They are neck and neck. You can literally not separate them. If Dhoni... The only way Dhoni, in my eyes, could have gone ahead if he scored a few more tons or something like that. But again, it's it's impossible to, to pick them apart. But hey, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Comment down who you think the better keeper is. Now, I know everyone's going to say MS Dhoni. That's just due to the population and the amount of fans he has. But... Take the bias aside and think who you want. But again, they're probably neck and neck. Like, I don't think you can really separate them. But hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.